So you've got your GMB verified now, or you've taken over a GMB that is verified. The next thing you want to do is not build links, not add content to your website. You want that GMB to rank. There's a whole bunch of traffic that comes from these map listings. It's insane the amount of traffic that comes from this. So this is your first port of call when it comes to local SEO, and it's not links or content that help you. Now, what is NEP when it comes to local SEO? Now, there's a whole bunch of articles out there on this. Now, name, NAP stands for Name Address Postcode. Now, I'm just going to click on someone else's website so that it's not just coming from me. But as I say, NAP stands for Name Address and, and Phone Number or Postcode. Um, and it's critical for businesses wanting to rank well in the local organic search results. Now, why, sh you know, why should you enter your NAP? And it's in terms of local citations, it's probably worth listing your business on any reputable directory, especially local directories, industry specific directories, geographic specific directories, local chambers of commerce, and anything else you can get your hands on. Now, does that help SEO? Does that help your, your um, Google My Business listing? Yes, it does, because look, Google are looking for instances of your name, address, and postcode on trusted sources like the local chamber of commerce, like local directories, like industry specific directories, and that is what pushes up your rankings when it comes to the GMB. Now, <coughs> that brings me on to a service that can actually do this for you. Now, part of this course is not for me to sell you every Tom, Dick and Harry service. I'm going to give you the service, but this can also be done manually by you or one of your staff, your VA, or whatever it may be. Now, this is seobuilder.com, citation building services, and basically, you can get a small package where they'll put it to 35, the other package, 75, 135, and so on. Now, what is really critical with this is, so many people make mistakes, so they'll get someone in the office, they've read this article and it says, name, address and postcode's important, get on all these directories. So someone gets that job to do in the office, they copy and paste the business description, the phone number and everything else in there. Now look at this part here, we spin your description. So what this particular service does is, it submits you to 35 listings for the low package. It's a mix of generic, niche specific and geographic specific listings that you get but they spin your description so that it's not the same business description on every directory. Now, why is that important? Google hates duplicate content, and if you're going to keep putting the same thing on directory after directory after directory, it, Google's going to ignore it because it's duplicate content. So what these guys do is spin the description, and then they send the citations to an indexing tool something like omegaindexer.com. Now, if you want to do this yourself, submit to all these directories, make sure the description's spun or different on all of the directories, and then go to omegaindexer.com and pay for some credits, which is peanuts, and make sure that each and every one of your citations gets indexed. If you can't be bothered doing all of that for 60 bucks, you can get the lowest package on here, which will potentially do you well. Now, the next question you're going to have is, well, what package do I buy, Craig? That really depends on your competition. If it's something like Plumbers in London, you're probably going to need the large package. You might even need the monthly citation service just to get the edge over the competition. Medium might be enough. The small package is more often than not enough depending on what the competition are doing. So if you're a florist in Grimsby, then the small package is probably going to do you. But if you're a builder in Glasgow, it's going to be a toss up between the medium and large. You can buy a medium and if it's not enough, go and buy another medium or go and buy another large, whatever. So there's no right or wrong answer here in terms of what package you should buy or how many directories you should go to. But, the most important thing is getting consistencies 
with your name address and postcode. Now to add to that, <coughs> you want to make sure that you either use a service or if you're going to do it yourself, make sure that you don't use synonyms such as the word street. So if your, your address is 123 Main Street and you do that in one citation, you've got to replicate that exactly throughout all of the other citations so that they are consistent. If you're going to have 123 Main ST as a shortener for the word street and it's all going to be inconsistent, you're not going to get the full impact because it's inconsistent and that's what Google are looking for is that name, address and postcode and for it to be consistent across powerful websites. So seobuilder.com is the place where you can buy it. You can also go out and do this yourself if you want to save some money and do it yourself. It is a horrendously tedious task and, you know, it's entirely up to yourself whether you want to do that. Personally, I would just go to SEO Builder, but everyone's in a different boat. You might want to try it out yourself. It will let you understand what's on there anyway. And this is the first thing you should do is build out this name, address and postcode. Now that's not it. There is going to be other videos to show you some other additional tricks and some advice on some of the other stuff that's on your Google My Business. But initially, after verification, build citations. These normally take around seven working days to get done. You get a report back and you can basically see all of the citations you've got. Now, also if you're doing this for clients, you can white label this service and charge a client double, treble, whatever you like, and then just send them the report and say, we built your citations here you go, here is some value. And as I say, that is what Google are looking for. Consistencies of that name, address and postcode is one of the first things that is going to take you above the competition with your GMB listing.